Oh boy! Ready? We're talking about variants. Yee! Now there's lots of different vari variants formulas from a data set, a sample if you will. And all of them are algebraically equivalent. The one I want to work with is this one right over here. Here you see the variance, yes, which is the standard deviation squared. It's going to be the sum of the x's squared minus the sum of the x's squared divided by n divided by n minus 1. Now this is the variance of a sample. Okay, let's go through and let's find this. What do we need to find? We need to find the sum of the squares and we need to find the sum of the values. And then we need to know how big our sample size is. So let's go and let's find these things. I'm using this data set right up here. Here it appears to me I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here n is equal to nine. Now I want to go and I want to find the sum of their squares. Yes. I also want to find their sum. So let's find their sum now. Mm-hmm. So then their sum is going to be one plus two plus four plus nine plus five plus nine plus three plus three plus five. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's add those up. That's one and three, seven, sixteen, twenty-one, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six, forty-one. So they summed up forty-one. What is this? This is the sum of the x's. Can you see that? That's all too high. Oh boy. So the sum of the x's is 41. Now let's find the sum of their squares. But first we're going to have to find their squares. This is 1. 2 squared is 4. 4 squared is 16. 9 squared is 81. 5 squared is 25. What am I doing? I'm finding the sum of their squares plus 9 squared is 81 plus 9 plus 9 plus 25. Okay, let's see what these things add up to. Looks like they're going to add up to be 200 and wait for it. 51. Sure, 251. And what is this? This is the sum of the x's squared. Okay, let's go through and let's plug them into that formula. I'm ready. Which formula? The variance, s squared. This is the sum of the x's squared minus the sum of the x's squared divided by n, which was 9, divided by n minus 1. Now, I'm using this formula because I find it's the easiest one to evaluate. Ready, 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 ready. The sum of the x's squared was 251 minus the sum of the x's. This is 41. squared divided by 9 divided by 9 minus 1. You ready? You ready? You ready? Finish him. You may have noticed what I was um, going after. Let me um, evaluate this guy. Okay. Um, um. So we got 251 minus, we should probably use parentheses on this, 251 minus 41 squared divided by 9 divided by 8. Great. Is it really? 41 squared do 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 do. Um, 8.2, 8.3 approximately. And we just found our variance. Bonus round. Yes, we just found our variance. Oh boy. Now what? Let's go and uh, find the standard deviation. We know that the standard deviation, S, of a sample is the square root of the variance. Okay, so then the standard deviation here, S, is going to be mm -hmm, the square root of 8.3. Oh, boy. Let's get it. Square root, 8.3, is 2.88. and flower. Ah, you get one too. Virtual bouquet.
Thank you.